I already gave them the euros. I gave them a WC. Bro, that's the, bro, that's the paper we just took to retire and call it a day. If it's down to Cristiano and it's, and he's physically able, Zima frame or not, he'll play till he's 40 or, or, or 50 years old. He will. There's never been a better cheerleader in a final than Cristiano in 26. <laughs> Like, like, I am generally confused with this because, see, I thought we had a deal. I thought we had a deal. I thought that, let me put on my ring right. I thought that the deal that me and Cristiano had, I thought, I thought we had a deal. I thought the deal is this is it. The last tour around, the last dance. This is the last shinizi. This is the last drink away. You know, I thought, okay, this walk, that's why I. I this World Cup is the highest World Cup that there's ever been. Now, we may not have a World Cup, especially with the way that Putin is freaking moving and so forth. So we'll just see how that lies there. But, you know, hopefully if Putin doesn't say what's up and, and so forth, and like we have, we have peace because we all need peace. Um, this is the highest six World Cup. And it is the World Cup that many people feel it's Messi's last, Neymar's last, and Cristiano's last. Hence why it is such a special, unique World Cup because there is so much at stake. It is the Legacy World Cup. Um, so I thought that was it. Now, shout out to your boy, Ricardo, who sent this to my Twitter DM. And of course, now other guys have been following it. So I think this might have been at, at like a Portuguese like award ceremony and so forth. Because I saw, I think it's Japinso in the in the, in the crowd. Because he, he was part of the Euro 2000 Portuguese team. So because, And you also see the, the um, Euros trophy, the one in 2016 there. And then this is where, where, what it says in translation. My chapter with the national team is not over yet. I will be at the World Cup and I want to be at the Euros. I will take charge now. Here's the thing. You know, see, look, here's 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 the, the, the thing I want to just say. <laughs> you know, like, so you want to be at the next Euros. So I believe he his, 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 his birthday is in February, so he's going to be 39 going into those Euros. But it's not only the, the age is one thing. He, you could see that because he, you've played so many games, you've had such a long career, and you've put your body through so much physically, it is wearing and tearing on him. Here's where people would understand where, okay, you know, this this has to be your last round for the World Cup. I don't think anybody was thinking this guy would, would, would do a Euros. And, but this goes in line with what I've always said. My belief is I don't see how Cristiano voluntarily retires. Because he needs the, the support. He needs this. He needs the attention. He needs the relevancy. And he just needs to be on the pitch. He needs to be that sense of tension. And just needs to be on that pitch. And I don't, I'm not sure whether he actually, Cristiano actually really has thought about life after football. I don't, I don't think he has. And I, and I think maybe that's what fears him. And I think one of his biggest fears is, oh my gosh, I've known this for most of my life. Well, literally for most of my life, even before I was a professional, I've known this. So I don't know anything else, you know. Um, and I've always said that injury will try Cristiano. He will be forced to retire. He won't retire out of his own choosing. So that's, so that's going to happen. It will because if it will, it's down to him, he'll play until his fifty. If it's down to Cristiano and it's, and he's physically able, Zima frame or not, he'll play till he's forty or, or, or fifty years old. He will because I think that he feeds off of. The hype. And guys, I blame you. I blame you. I blame you, the fanboys. Because if anything happens to him on this pitch, you guys will be to blame. Because you know why he's doing this? It's because of you guys. People are like, oh my gosh, the GOAT. He'll never stop. He's amazing. Christian is so amazing. Look at what he's doing at 38. And I think that's also eczema. Because people are like, my gosh, look at what he's doing at 37. Look at what he's doing at 38. Look at what he's doing at 39. Look at what he's doing at 45. Look at what he's doing at 60. I don't see how this guy stops. I don't see how this guy stops. And that scares me. <laughs> That is scary because I think 
Because see, because this is this is where I write in it. So I don't I don't wish injury on anyone. So I hope my hope is that he doesn't get a serious crazy injury that could maybe really truly affect him. You know, because he can look whatever my beef with him and so forth and everything, I do not wish injury on any player. Because that's that's that, that that is a line that I'll never cross. I'll never wish like a serious injury on anyone. No. So my fear is that, bro, don't get like a serious super injury that could really affect your life. But my thing is that I don't know what to stop it because see, but here's the thing though. I think Portugal have a chance to win the World Cup. It's not a jinx. I generally believe Portugal have a chance to win the World Cup. But in the but let's say that they do win the World Cup. Does he keep on playing? If there's ever a perfect way to bow out, is I already gave them the Euros. I gave them a WC, bro. That's the, bro. That's the perfect way just to, to retire and call it a day. Because you know what they always say? Go out on top. Go out on top. So the perfect way for Cristiano is I went to Qatar against all odds and against all insults. I won the, the World Cup. There's nothing that can say about it. I'm out. But obviously, most likely, what, what people will believe is that they don't win the World Cup. And they thought, okay, let me go in for the Euros. And, but see, and this is where now this is where it gets very tricky. And this is now where Christina, you, you're now putting either Santos or whoever takes over Mourinho in a very difficult situation. So let's say Euro 2024 rolls about. And you now have to now decide whether you're taking a 39-year-old to the because he's but he'll be 30, 39. So he'll yeah, he'll be 39 going into Euro 2024, which I believe is in Germany. So in that scenario, if you now have a guy who is 39, who said that? If you have that dude there, you're putting the man in a very difficult situation because you're like, this guy, he's obviously a an emblem of, of Portugal. He is the face of Portugal. And he brings with him such massive baggage and when you just look at the way that he's talking he's like oh no 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 i will still be i will still be here like because i says i will take charge now but if i'm imagine like bro we simply don't have space for you liao is coming up who knows how good liao will be in 2024 who knows how good just will be in 2024 who knows what other quality portugal people will be there who knows how good flicks will be so maybe as a match i'm like do i have to put you in my team are you happy to be a cheerleader because you were an amazing Cristiano was the greatest cheerleader of all time in the fact. Like there's never been a there's never been a better cheerleader in a final than Cristiano in 2016. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys, just easy. There has come on, guys, please. I'm being because I'm laughing at it. There has never been a better cheerleader in the history of the sport. <laughs> I can't do it. Because actually, there's there's never been a better cheerleader in the history of the sport in a major final than Christian in 2016. So if he's been employed to be a cheerleader. <laughs> Okay. I care for you and I want you to be in good health. If you think that you're physically able to still move move around and be an asset to a thirty nine, fair enough. Fine. I just worry about your physical health. But the fact that he's still scoring goals and still saying what's <laughs> at thirty seven, I think it's amazing. So we just have to just wait and see what happens. But we'll talk more about this on a on a live show on, on Twitch. We'll be going on Twitch soon. Le voto de la semana, bueno, en el live show, man.